welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the books um, and the prep material that I used for my step one exam. Dun, dun, dun. Insert the music there. First book I'm going to talk about that I used in prep for my exam was the first aid book. It's really big. It's really thick. Um, I spiral bound mine and they come out with a new one every year. Um, essentially this is kind of like the bible for your exam it has everything that could possibly ever be tested the only bad thing i would say about the step book is that it doesn't go into the level of detail that some people might need in order to understand concepts so i did a lot of highlighting a lot of writing a lot of sticky notes um but I essentially wrote all over this book. Some people don't write on it at all, um, but I definitely used it. So my uh, theory was to use sticky notes for the things that I learned in class and the things that I learned through other concepts like boards and beyond videos or any other YouTube videos that I used, I wrote on the actual page of the book. So I'm sure once you get into med school and once you start looking at all of your lectures and uh, learning your best way to study, you'll kind of come up with your own uh, way of organizing everything into this book. The next resource I'm going to talk about uh, is one of my favorite resources. It's really unique and um, some people love it and some people hate it, but it's called uh, Sketchy and they have different types of videos and they have workbooks which I like because you can write your own notes in them. So I use Sketchy for microbiology, which is the book for that. And I also use Sketchy for pharmacology, and this is the book for that. So essentially how Sketchy works is that it correlates a concept with a story, and everything in that story has a meaning to it that correlates with either, let's just say, a virus for Sketchy Micro or a drug for Sketchy Farm. My stuff is a little uh, crazy when you look at it, but uh, this is the sketchy for chlamydia. <laughs> okay, so everything in this pirate boat picture has to do with a feature of chlamydia. And as long as you remember the story or the picture or the things in the picture, you can remember fun facts or things you need to know for the exam that is about chlamydia. And there's videos about it. And it's essentially like this for every single uh, virus. So that's for salmonella. And then it has open spaces for you to write whatever notes you have. Um, I love this uh, resource. I thought it worked perfectly for me, but some people just like to memorize or just uh, go off like the um, school's notes. But memorizing the pictures or correlating the concepts with the pictures helped me a lot. And that's essentially the same thing for Sketchy Farm. These are, this is the sketch for NSAIDs and there's a, different, a lot of different types of NSAIDs. So this was a longer sketch. Um, obviously it took up two pages of notes. Um, and I didn't explain this before, but essentially, so my number one uh, is correlating to the AA League. So if I go number one here, that is going to remind me that NSAIDs are an amino acid uh, precursor molecule to prostanoids and leukotrienes. So just different things about the picture could kind of uh, help you remember certain things about the, the last drug. resource I'm going to talk about that I use is called uh, Pathoma, and this is the book for it. It's pretty thin, uh, which is nice, and it's everything you need to know about uh, pathology, and it comes with like uh, the microscope pictures that you'll need to identify. Um, so, and it's actually um, organized in an outline format. Some people <laughs> like that, some people don't. Um, but it comes with pictures, bottom, and then it comes with slide pictures as well. So these are like blood smears that you'll all need to know. It comes with videos that you can follow along. They're, they're different lessons. Um, I liked Pathoma because it essentially tied everything together, I feel like, for me. It filled in a lot of the gaps that the first aid book had, 
um, because this goes into great detail, sometimes more than you need to know, but it, it puts all the pieces together. And it, the uh, doctor who's teaching you this through his lectures gives really good mnemonics and uh, ways to help you remember, but it has everything and it's separated um, through systems. So like kidney, urinary tract, um, we have GI pathology. Um, so I really like this resource as well. Other than these resources that I use, of course there's uh, question banks that you wanna kind of purchase. So there's UWorld, which is the main one that you'll usually buy. Um, really, really good. Questions are pretty similar to what you'll see on test day. Um, so I did UWorld and that comes with two free simulated exams. I'm not sure how many questions there are, but there's a lot. I also bought a second one. I bought a Kaplan QBank. Those questions were extremely, extremely hard. Uh, and their explanations were a little different than UWorld. They were less, e uh, less easy to follow, but I felt like I learned a lot from them. Things that, you know, the step book didn't have. And then the third question resource that I bought, Rx. So Rx was really, really cool because it had the first aid book online um, through your Rx portal. So you can easily look up like a keyword and it'll take you to the exact page that it's on step. And when you're doing a question, you get it right or wrong. In the explanation, it gives you the page number as a reference to where like you would find this answer um, in the step book. So that was a really cool thing. But the questions were sometimes a little easier than, um, than I expected. And I would say they were easier than what you would see on test day. Other than that, your QBanks, your, these four resources are pretty common among a lot of people. Uh, I think you should be set for test day. Uh, you don't wanna have too many resources because then you, know, you can get confused and just overwhelmed in general. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you can always reach me at my email, which I'll put below. Um, and that's it. Good luck for studying. And I'll see you guys soon. See ya. Bye. You guys want salad? <laughs> I want salad. We'll cut that out. What happened? I want one too. <laughs> Are we eating out there? It's cooler out there. Yeah, let's eat out here. It's so hot in the kitchen. So I'm waiting, it's almost done, the spaghetti, natty. <laughs> um, so where was I? Okay, so. <laughs>